Hi you all, and uh, Happy New Year. We are on the 2nd, I believe, of January. Um, welcome back. Today we are not going to be doing what I wanted to be doing, which was going out in the boat, because it's windy as hell. Um, like proper gale force winds, so going out would be silly. Um, instead, I'm going to do a couple of quick jobs that I've been putting off for ages. So um, the first up is the 12 volt power leads for the lights and the TV in the cabin. Uh, you saw me previously fit the, the main feeds in in the little uh, 12 volt kind of sockets in the bulkhead. But what I didn't do is make the wires to connect the uh, devices to those feeds. So um, I'm going to do that now. So what I've got is I've got um, the cable that came with the TV, which I'm going to butcher, uh, a load of new connectors. My soldering iron, wire strippers, tie wraps because you always need tie wraps, um, some tweezers, a bit of solder, and a multimeter. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to use a multimeter to check for continuity, and by that I mean we're going to check that the negative, which is the outside of this, works on the negative of the outside of this when we wire them up. We're going to chop this off. Um, this is the fag light bit that we don't need because we've got these connectors on both sides So we're going to chop that off. We're going to chop a chunk of this wire spare for the lights Doesn't need much maybe that much uh, And we're going to stick one of those on each end Then we're going to use that to check that we've done the wiring right. We've got negative to negative positive to positive And then we're going to replace that on this new bit with another one of these as well um, so everything will have power and then we can unplug it in. Now, it's important to remember on these things that the outside is the neutral and the inside is the positive. And when you're looking at this wire, we have, it looks all red, but one of it has, there you go, a black stripe on it. So the black stripe is the negative and the one that's all red is the positive. So we've got to make sure that when we wire them up, because the, you can't check to confirm with this, you see, because it's a molded plug, but these ones, screw apart so all we've got to do is we've just got to make sure that um, our negatives go to negative so the outside goes to the outside so what I'll do is I'll just set the um, set the little camera up and hopefully you can see what I'm doing so if you look at these you can see they have the outside pin that's the negative you can see that yeah the outside pin that's a negative then this little one is your inside pin which connects to your positive so we're going to need a couple of those just split apart and we've got a couple of spares and we're going to dismantle this because we don't need this anymore Hoping that these will just split. There we go. And look, as you can see inside here, you have your pure red, which is your top wire, coming in, going to your centre core. In this case, it's fused. But we don't need a fuse for what we're doing. Then the outer core is the red and black coming to the outer. So all we're going to do is we're going to desolder these just ever so quickly desolder them slide that off then i'm going to cut some wire and we're going to uh and we're going to get that done so you will bear with me i will be back in a minute with some joints desoldered so as you can see i've taken the connector off i've threaded the cap of the new one on because when we solder this on, that's going to slide back up. I've stripped back the two wires and I've given myself quite decent sized tabs because if you look, it's got to have a bit of a rundown. So let's have a little bit to play with there. And I've split the wires down the middle. Now, just to confirm, we can set the multimeter to continuity mode um, and we can test that the uh, black and red which is this one 
is definitely a negative on this by just touching it there. There you go. And we have a, a zero reading on our continuity tester. So that is confirming it's correct. So we'll need that after we've done it. So now all we're going to do is we're going to make sure we put these the right way around and we're going to solder these these together, which is always easier or more difficult than it sounds, should that be. So we'll do a negative first because a negative holds into a little clamp. Now I'm not an electrician, so anyone looking at this it is, look away now. So all I've done is threaded the wire through the little hole on the back of a negative and then wrapped it round and I'm just going to stick a double solder on now to hold it and come back to the positive in a few seconds. Let's get the negative on first. And yes, I am doing this on my teak table, so I am being well, as careful as I am. Um, so as not to muck it up. I don't know if you can hear that, that's the wind. It's absolutely blowing a gale down here. So, right, so that is in. So we've got our negative connected up now and now we're just going to uh, do the same with the positive I don't know how well you guys can see this probably not very but Right. And there we have our first cable done. And we will check it. Clicking our multimeter on. And what we're looking for is we're looking for beeps from these outside pins. There we go. And no beep if we go inside pin to outside, but if we go inside to inside, there we go. So we have continuity on both positives and negatives, and we can now pull the little sheath up, fasten it up, and there we go. That is one 12 volt feed cable done. Now all I have to do is the other one, which I've already split the ends. Just got to strip them a bit and then uh, do my solders. Now, I don't have any on, so I've got to do both sides on this next one, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, do that now and then we'll go and uh, plug them in and test them. And then everything should be working at 12 volt. So I'll be back shortly. Right, so as you can see, we have our lights currently on and they are running off mains. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull the mains cable out, plug my 12 volt feed in, and plug it in to one of these new connectors up here. A little bit stiff, never been used, there we go. So we're on. I think I need to turn the, the actual feed on. So I wired this to the Hi-Fi shaver socket. And there you go. Oh, voila, as the French say, we are back with our LEDs on. Cool, so that's our 12 volt light feed working the lights. Now we're going to do the same for the TV. 
TV is now hooked up with our cable and it's going into the cable up there. So we've got two cables. And now let's see if the TV will work. Oh, it went green. Means we have power. Now we'll have signal for anything because I've humbled the aerial. Um, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, no signal. But as you can see, the TV is actually on, even though there's no signal, so we can't actually watch TV. Um, so yeah, so that's our new 12 volt feeds. So I'm just going to stick some tie wraps around those to tidy up those wires a little bit. Um, just to keep them a little bit neater um, but as you can see there's plenty of length so this entire TV bracket's got all its full range of swing and motion on it so yeah here we go we have 12 volt feeds so that will now work even when we are off the grid so welcome back all finally finished with Lego um, as you can see a pirate ship in a bottle. And uh, yeah, so a bit of inception there for you. Made a boat on a boat. So I am still on a boat. So I'm just going to tidy up now and uh, head home. I know that was a very short video for, um, for the new year, but. What I wanted to do, I can't do because I've busted my ribs. So I can't go crawling around in small spaces and the weather was too bad for us to go out. So uh, hopefully in a week or so's time, ribs will be feeling better and I can get back on with um, some actual big jobs. Uh, if, if not, obviously, uh, hopefully we'll get out as well, see what's happening. We have been told by the trimmers that the cushions should be back sometime in January. So hopefully we'll be uh, fitting those soon. And then it's just the electrics and a few other bits and pieces and we're just about done. So uh, until then, everyone, stay safe, and I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.